Hello everyone, this is Ice and welcome back to She and Ice channel. tayo ng uh, budget size computer, gaming computer pa lang. Maglalaro siya from uh, 20 to 30,000 or I think 35. Ito yung mga gamit. Isama na ito. So, uh, Surprise Galat Galati RGB uh, Pro C cooler siya. Uh, this cost, I think this cost around 500 pesos na. Pero good na siya. Lalo na dun sa mga naka tempered glass yung ano. The Ryzen 5. This is Ryzen 5 3600. We'll see. Which it, ha it has a 6 core and 12 thread processor. PCI Gen 4 ready na siya. So mostly para sa mga mid-size gaming na medium budget. Ito na yung halos minigay nila. Of course, syempre hindi mo wala ang ating fans, CPU fans. Okay. This is DR12 Pro 3 in 1 sync. Okay. This is our sync. Natin. So, this is uh, one of the cheapest na RGB LEDs na pwede nyo bilid on the market. I think this cost around uh, 300 or 400 pesos. Tapos taklo na siya. Okay. So, I have a total of uh, two sets for this one. Kasi yung ating uh, CPU case is uh, 16 yung, ano niya, yung capacity niya for the RGB fans. This is a Vexi. Uh, this is a uh, magkakamay na This is a 8 gig per stick at around uh, 3200 MHz. Mm -hmm. That's a Sure. Ayan, kalagi siya doon. Uh, DDR4, 3200. Okay. Yeah. Let's focus that one a little bit. Ayan niya. Ayan niya. Well, anyway. So, ito binili ko. This is, this cost around uh, 4,200 to 4,300 at uh, This is also a Aura Sync na rin. Na Asus. So, Ganda siya for display. Pero doon naman sa mga medyo budgeted for the gaming is pwede naman yung single stick na 8 gig. Just make sure na hindi magbabattle like yung pro sinyo versus doon sa motherboard yung. Kasi nadepende pa rin yan sa population. Okay? Of course, kailangan natin na magpa-power para doon. So, kailangan. So, ang aking uh, PSU is a Corsair. Uh, CX750M. This is a, uh, this is a gold or bronze uh, wirings. Uh, ito medyo mabigat to guys kung bibili nyo. Kasi this cost around uh, 7,500 to 8,000. Uh, nung binili yata namin to sa may, uh, sa isang shop sa uh, ATC, this cost around 8,800 yata. Bought it in cash, so nakadiscount ako na po. Okay? So, pwede naman kayo, pwede naman available sa market. Mga PSU na naglalaro lang from 2,000 to 3,000. Depende na lang sa budget. Meron din yata pa for as low as 1,400 na 600 watts. So, yun. Uh, depende na nga lang kasi kung kakayanin din yung fans and included yung magiging yung magiging video card you guessed right tapos ang motherboard na gagamitin natin for this build is a B450 Acros Pro okay. ah Acros 
this Aorus, sorry, Aorus Pro, uh, pero hindi siya yung Wi-Fi version. I don't think na ano yung may edge yung Wi-Fi version bukod sa pwede lang siya mag-connect sa Wi-Fi. Pero as a uh, gamer, mas mabilis pa rin ang LAN. Unless na lang yung, yung Wi-Fi is as good as throw ng 1 gig. Uh, 1 gigabyte per second so yun tsaka mas less yung lag kasi pang makalang so ito yung gagamitin natin for the build video card is pang mid size din this is an asus geforce gtx 1050 ti this cost around i think ngayon is nasa ano na lang yata to uh, 14 to 16,000 each yung ti na version so, kung ganun, I think uh, I Mas okay to, mas preferred to to This uh, experience With the uh, GeForce GTX versions Rather than dun sa RTX or yung RX versions nila So, kung baga sa ano Kung magbibuild ka, lalo na sa mga SLI Itong sa mga magdan Okay, uh, syempre, hindi tayo makakabuo na Walang hard rides So, meron ako dito yung uh, Sandis uh, 240 lang, 240 gig. This will be my main drive. So, ito yung mag, ito yung gigging sa big one. And this will be my uh, mass storage. Uh, 1 terabyte kasi na Western. Western digital kasi wala available na. Sige, parang ito. Pero, kung gusto nyo makamura na ako ante, eh, uh, mag Western digital is one of the good Pero kung may budget ka, you can go for Sigit Marakita. Kung kaya ng budget mo. Ito kasi is uh, around 2,000 or less. And yung Sigit Marakuda na 1 terabyte is naglalaro from 2,500 to 3,500. Depende sa store na mabibilay mo. Unless na lang meron kang kaibigan na store shop owner na bumenta ng mga accessories. It's good for you. And of course, hindi tayo makakabuild ng walang lalagyan. Okay? I bought a Rock Halia Genghis sa ECPC kasi sila na yung na-encounter na kami. Mumura na maganda yung uh, gaming case. Uh, at least mag showcase dun sa mga RGB LEDs natin. So this only cost around a 2300 or 2500 yata. Uh, di ko matanda, pero hindi siya lalag pala, hindi siya lalagpas ng 3,000. This is 3,000 less, so kung nagbabala ka mag-build ng uh, gaming PC or at least mag-upgrade ka ng PC case, eto na yung isa sa mga mag-build na Okay? So kung isa ka sa mga nagdadahan-dahan mag-upgrade ng computer nila, so I would actually go for this one. This is a big tower case for full mobile already. Tapos, uh, maganda na rin yung So, kung SLI build ka in the future na magka-budget ka, this will be a good choice na rin. Pero kung meron kang budget, you can go for another, like yung Crimson or yung Pool Master. Medyo pricey na kasi sila. Pero yung isa, yung Pool Master yata is I think uh, 4,000 to 5,000 yata ang pang full mobile nila na CPU PC. Then yung uh, yung pang ano uh, nito yung pang uh, mini mobo nila is I think nagala na lang ng 3,000 3,500 yung sa full master pero the best din naman pero since uh, magbabudget build tayo medyo budget uh, I would go for this one okay let's start okay so uh, napakita ko na yung mga gang gamitin natin so let's start Kailangan natin ng gunting at mainly screwdriver. Phillips pala. So, uunahin natin buksan ngayon itong CPU casing.
Thank you guys for watching our video. If you like the video, do not forget to subscribe our channel. Bye-bye!